have this definite integral and this curve, we're going to do three things. We're going to shade the area that corresponds to the given definite integral. If we can find the area using basic geometry, we'll do that. And if we can't, then we're going to try to figure out, well, can we give estimates? Can we say, I know that the area is at least this much or at most this much? I will do the first one with you. Um, so we're looking for the integral from 0 to 4 of this 7. And so what we're actually looking for is from x equals 0 to x equals 4, what is the area between this function and the x-axis? So this is part A. The shaded region is what we want. The area of the shaded region. This represents the area of a shaded region. And in this case, we can figure out the area just by using basic geometry rules. Uh, this is a rectangle, so the area we can express as length times width. My width down here will be 4. And the width is 4, and the reason for that is this goes from x equals 0 to x equals 4. So that's a length, a width of 4. And then this height would be 7 because this is a curve that has a height of y equals 7 the whole way. So the reason that I can get away with this is that this is a constant function. The height never changes. I can't get away with this in general. And it gets more complicated than this, the height will change. But in this specific situation where I'm just dealing with a straight line as the function, I can find the area as 4 times 7, which is 28. And I could make the statement, the integral from 0 to 4 of the constant function 7 is equal to 28.